An e-bike is more mountain bike than ever before. E-bikes are making adventure much, much more possible. Real adventure then, it's not supported by a berm or dependable in direction as a red or a blue. Its season's not limited and its direction and boundaries are not defined. E-bikes have changed everything. I would like to introduce you to my first ever mountain bike, a 1988 Specialized Stump Jumper Comp. Back then it cost £599. In today's money that's about £1200, but remember I was getting a state-of-the-art mountain bike. Remember it was Shimano equipped, it had Mavic wheels, and there was only one model above it, the team version. Back then it cost me about a tenth of my salary, and that was during a time when I cleaned expensive cars or as a stone waller for a living. So how far have we come? Okay, so back then I rode in a very different environment to where the sport of mountain biking originated in California. But since then, mountain biking has come a long, long way. 40 years of mountain bike history and the sport is now divided. Downhill, cross country, enduro, free ride. But how true are those words of the first production mountain bike back in 1981, the specialized stump jumper? The words that say, the essence of adventure engineering with the appetite for the outdoors. It's quite clear to see that mountain biking has reached a milestone, the e-bike. And there's many that have pondered along the way, maybe a bit too hard, but there's others who have gone with the good things in life. And this bike feels good. So here we are, out of the bike park, out of the trail centre, there's no berms, there's no jumps, simply a track leading into the hills. And I think that hunger for adventure is as strong as ever before on a bike that is more potent than ever before. So the dream then was to ride in the mountains and from Mammoth to the Matterhorn, the Rockies to here in the Alps, we went in search of adventure and the mountain bike was the tool that enabled us to find that experience. Many people come to Scotland for adventure and to explore the wilderness, but for others it's a super quick ride to the top, an even scarier descent to the finish, a burger and back home. Adventure in the mountains? Nah, that's for weirdos, right? However, but up there, out there, over there, is fast becoming the place where the e-biker roams. People are starting to reimagine the type of riding they do, attempting trails they've never done before and going to places they've never dreamt of. E-bikes are making adventure much, much more possible. But to dream means to think for yourself, a bit of planning to get to those places. And in an era of compressed time, more and more riders want that dead certain experience, right? Well, maybe less so. Neudart, often regarded as Britain's last wilderness. It's a really difficult place to ride a bike, that's for sure. I'd always dreamt of coming to this place. Out there in the unknown, it doesn't involve railing berms or doing dangerous gap jumps. But that doesn't mean to say it's not going to be raw, chancy and hazardous. But then life is all about that romance of adventure rather than a flat white and a piece of Victoria sponge, right? But unknown doesn't necessarily mean unplanned. Methodical chaos can live outside the bike park. Here we are on the boat back from Neudart, but out there, out there in those hills, is some amazing, amazing riding. E-bikes then bring their own spark. What can be climbed and what can be conquered, or simply what can be done. It's all pretty relative. It can mean a group of friends of mixed abilities, ages, and maybe attitudes can share a ride share the experience. One day, two day, three days, just keep on going.
It need not be miles from home like we are here in Liguria. It could even be on your doorstep. Unknown, unplanned and unsurfaced. So I'm wondering, have things actually come full circle? Yeah, we're back in Llamberis in Dinoric Slate Mine, once one of the biggest slate mines in the world, and also home to some very famous climbing. Climbs that were named by the quarrymen themselves, such things as Australia, Serengeti, California. Yeah, California is back in the picture again. It's actually a paradise for climbing. I think it's actually a paradise for mountain biking. Only a stone's throw away, we've got Mount Snowdon. What better place for an adventure? And also places such as Scotland, not so far away. In fact, if you want to see Scotland and some great adventures, check out the one we did with Hannah Barnes on Noidar Peninsula, the last great wilderness. Hope you like this video, give us a thumbs up if you do. Let us you know your comments below and any adventures you've been going on. Uh, give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to EMBN if you've not already done so.